No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get right to it, okay? All right, no problem. Yeah, I gotta go now. I'm recording a video. All right, talk to you later. All right. All right, all right, bye. All right, hello everybody. Today we are going to try doing some tattooing once again. I've got, I've, I've attempted to get it all set up here. Got my little tattoo gun. The last time I tried this, I had it set up slightly wrong. Like I had the wrong kind of needle, the wrong kind of little nib holder for the needle here. The thing that puzzles me maybe the most about this is that you can kind of switch this around two different ways and it works both ways, but I think it maybe works slightly better one of the one of the ways so i'm still messing around with that a little bit kind of a trial and error sort of thing but yeah i think i've got it all set up i don't have any gloves uh the other ones i had dry rotted and fell apart so hopefully everything okay will go okay without the gloves um, also i'm not sure what the best setting is uh to set this on right i've got it about uh, 8.52 right now i don't know Maybe I'll mess around with that a little bit too. It goes all the way up to like 15 and down to two. And uh, I'm gonna try the tattooing uh, a banana. All right. And I, I have snacks along the way. Um, it's, this is a pretty nice banana when I first got it. Uh, right now it's got a little few little bumps and scrapes and bruises on it, but don't we all? So it's fine if it's not. Uh, perfect, right? So I got got everything started. I was using the default or just the ink that came with it, just a big bottle of ink. Do you think this ink is safe to use on skin? It says sterile on it, but you know, you, you gotta wonder when it comes to a, a little bottle of ink that came for you know with a, with a with a tattoo kit. Like a, like a $50 tattoo kit off Amazon. You gotta wonder, is it safe to put permanently in your skin? Wait, wait, it has ingredients on it. It says ingredients, proprietary. Did I say it wrong? Proprietary. Glycerin, distilled water, and isopropanol. So who knows what proprietary is? I guess that just means secret stuff. Glycerin, distilled water, and isopropanol. Um, also, I thought about what it would be like. I kind of brainstormed, like, if this was an actual client, this banana, uh, would it be tactful to comment on the fact that they bruise like a banana? I was just resting my hand gently on it, you know, kind of trying to support my hand a little bit as I was tattooing them, the banana that is, and just like the fact that I was resting the tips of my fingers lower on the banana while I was tattooing higher up on the banana was uh, just like my, my fingernail. You know how banana peels are. You touch it and then you wait a minute and then there's a mark where you like your finger. And I was, I was marking it all up. And uh, I think at least it's interesting that wouldn't happen with most people. It would happen with me temporarily. Like if, if I go like this, can you hear this? If I do that on my arm in a minute with my fingernail, there'll be like a little red mark there. But um, yeah, banana peels are weird. I don't know if it's the, 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 the melon I tattooed was definitely a little bit more cooperative than the banana peel for some reason. This is working, but for this banana peel, I was also using a better needle. I, using, I think I was using an actual line needle and a little better tip for holding it so it wasn't wobbling around. I was, I was still getting some wobbly lines. Like, uh, you know, I'm used to drawing uh, in, the, in the sense that uh, when I draw, my, the tip of my pen rests on the paper right and I just drag the tip of the pen across the paper that's not the case here you don't want to you want to rest the tip of the the tattoo machine uh the the needle on anything you just kind of you kind of got to get your hover down and then the the needle it reciprocates it oscillates I guess that's the right word and goes and you, I don't know you just kind of get good at it, I guess got to get practice get your practice in you I wonder what my you know those uh you know, it'd be cool, those, those fetal pigs you can get for dissections. You ever did, did that in biology class in high school? They're like 25 bucks. But for some reason, that makes me a little bit uneasy. 
You know, I'm so quick to eat a pork chop, but I don't want to tattoo a fetal pig. There's some little discordance. There's something uh, that doesn't really match up there, but I don't know. It could be, could be really cool. I don't know. Also, formaldehyde, I think. Smells really weird. We never dissected a pig in high school, but we did dissect a frog, and the smell of formaldehyde will get in your nose, and it will not leave for a, a good while. Regardless, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how this little tattoo thing turned out. The line quality, still not up to snuff for me for what I'd like to do on a person. Maybe it would, I don't know, I didn't wipe, I wasn't wiping this one off at all as I was going. Maybe, it, I don't know, I, I wiped it off once with a Clorox wipe, which is what I was using on the melon when I did that. Uh, but I could tell the banana peel was not holding up well to wiping. Uh, it was just like getting it weird and damp and it was like speeding up this, this, Banana peels might be the, the quickest decaying thing in the world, right? You have banana peel, you set it out on the counter, uh, and it's just like, you can almost watch it decay in front of your eyes, and wiping it down was just speeding it up even more, right? So, I, I wasn't wiping it down, and but it still looked pretty good, pretty sharp. I like the grooves and everything. It was going well. Yeah. Gotta figure out what to do next. I've got lots more needles and stuff. Maybe I'll try all the other colors. I have a box of like different colors of ink and stuff. Obviously, I'm more I'm most comfortable, and my track record shows that I, you know, I like doing just normal black and white drawings best. But I mean, I could try maybe maybe I'll pop the red out or something. It could be cool. Also, my hand. The, the probably one of the biggest hurdles was my hand would start cramping up just because I wasn't. Used to using those muscles holding the machine, you know, and that, that weird little kind of hover you got to do. Anyways, I had a good time. All right, there you go. It is done. As you can, um, well, let me untangle myself from this here. As you can see here, the banana looks a little bit worse for wear as, uh, as I squeezed it and rested my hand on it, it started bruising a little bit, but also, um, I think it was just general bruising from getting repeatedly punctured by that needle. Check that out though, I think it looks pretty cool. Something I wanted, just going along at it like this. Right now I'm really just posing to get a, what I think might be a cool thumbnail. Anyways, I hope you guys like how it turned out. I liked it. You know what I want to try sometime? Yeah, you can see, especially this area right here is very uh, brown and bruised under there. So there's a little bit less contrast between the, the dark ink and the bright yellow banana-y lines I was you know, hoping to get, but it's okay. Um, you know what I want to try sometime is stick and poke. You know what is cool about this, though, is I don't know if you guys can tell because of the way the banana reacts to the... Um, uh, to the needle, it like, uh, it's got like indentations where I tattooed the lines. So it's like, it's got like a texture to it. It's pretty cool. I guess I was a little bit like carving it away or something. Yellow. Anyways, hopefully, oh, that did not open like I expected it to. You can see here that it very easily opened along perforations that I made with the tattoo lines. This was a... When, when I started on this, this banana was right around the ideal ripeness, okay? Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. It looks bad on the outside, a little bit rough, but look at that spotless, flawless on the inside. Mmm. That's a big banana. Big boy. I have mixed feelings about these little strings, though. This one goes all the way. Just trying to think about them too much. Shredded remains. A 
Okay, that's enough. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think I should tattoo next? Let me know what's good. All right, see y'all. Bye. Still going, isn't it? Should I start one of those mukbang channels? The ones where you just eat in front of the camera? I feel like I'm good at eating. I feel like I could do that. I enjoy eating. Maybe I'm good at it because I enjoy it, or I enjoy it because I'm good at it. Maybe just because eating's good. I don't know.